Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So today we got another fun and random episode for you guys this evening because after the longest time, Linda Cube has finally seen an English translation and that is absolutely epic. This has been one of those JRPGs that people have been curious about for a long time, but unfortunately if you didn't read or speak Japanese, you were 100% out of luck trying to actually play this game. While the day has come, it's now in full English, including the cutscenes. This game is so wild. If you're even remotely interested in JRPGs, you definitely should check it out. And the theme and content is insane as well. It's basically Noah's Ark in a biblical tale told through the guise of a JRPG, so much so that this old man here predicted the Ark would come and he was finally so happy that one of his predictions came true. He just didn't realize that part of that prediction would be a giant stone tablet coming down from space signed by God that was going to crush him into oblivion. Linda 3 or Linda Cubed is a very strange game, but you're definitely going to absolutely love it. Before you get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But this is an absolutely spectacular translation from start to finish, front to back, left to right. You're getting full English dialogue as far as the written word is concerned, full English menus and everything else you would need to successfully be able to play this game. And you definitely should check it out. It is so familiar yet so strange at the same time. It's almost like a JRPG meets a Pokemon game where you need to battle and collect animals to fill on your space arc to leave this Doom planet before an asteroid crashes into it within eight years. It's one part majority Majora's Mask, one part Pokemon, and one part pretty much every other JRPG game you've ever played. And when you put those all together, it absolutely just works. And it has a hilarious sense of humor as well. The tone of this game is all across the board in a good way. Sometimes it's humorous, sometimes it's extremely violent, but it's always intriguing. You basically got tricked into volunteering to be the new space arc pilot here because somebody asked you whether or not you thought Linda was pretty. She's going to be a pivotal character in this game and her personality makes absolutely no sense in all the right and wrong ways. But we do volunteer for the mission. We're going to be the new space arc captain and that's basically the inciting incident to get this entire adventure on the way. And I will say the translation of this game is spectacular. It is conversational English while still getting the same intent across. It's not a literal translation. Obviously the jokes are going to be in English and there are so many different jokes and nods in this game. But you'll see here he asks about what that bump on his head was and then Linda jumps out from behind a box, says get ready basically, and just absolutely hits this guy into oblivion, splattering his face across the wall with a blood splatter that's going on the concrete. She is one of the characters in the game. Game. The pivotal character, obviously the game is called Linda Cubed, and her actions and personality in this are so inexplicably strange. And before you could actually read this game in English, you'd have no idea why she was actually the way she is. She is just basically going to tease you the entire game, and it's going to be a main component of it. But now you can 100% understand what's going on. And there's a lot of different nods and weird little things about the actual JRPG structure, saying that she wants him to grind until he's at least a level 3. Your progress in this game seems to change relationship between you and Linda and it's almost like a self-aware fourth wall breaking nod to the entire mechanics of the genre in and of itself but it definitely does work. Of course, I've showed you a lot of the weird English things and a lot of the weird cutscenes but this game does have a full JRPG turn-based battle mechanic and I love the character portraits here. They are so well done. They're so well realized. All of the enemies have personality while not really moving all that much. You're not going to get too many frames of animation in each battle, but you're going to want to sit there and stare at all of the sprite work because it is absolutely epic. It's weird, it's strange, and yet familiar at the same time. If you've ever played any of the Far East of Eden games, this game may seem even more familiar because the director of this, along with Alpha Systems, was the person that made Linda Cube. So you're going to see some definite familiarities here. Just don't go hunting for over level monsters before you've leveled up yourself. There isn't a huge consequence, you're just going to end up back at your home base and Doc here is going to patch you up, but there definitely is a progression system in this game like pretty much any other JRPG and you 100% have to pay attention to that. And I'm just playing scenario A here, there's scenario B and C as well that are going to give you different mechanics and stories, so be aware that there's basically three parts to Linda Cubed, maybe that's why it's called Cubed after all, but this game has a really good soundtrack and full Japanese voiceover, which has been kept intact, which I think is a great idea. So go ahead and listen for 45 seconds and I'll be right back. Merry Christmas, Ken! Linda からのメッセージを伝えるね。102号室で待ってるわよ。だってさ。
覚えたかい兄ちゃんあんなかわいい彼女がいてうらやましいな。Awesome soundtrack, really good voice acting, and interestingly, this is a Christmas game, at least in scenario A, because it says Christmas Eve when you select the level. Linda said to go to room 102, and she's not here, so apparently she's going to disappoint us once again. At least this time, it didn't involve a 2x4 to somebody's face. But there's so much to explore in the world of Linda Cubed, and now that it's in full English, you're actually going to be able to do that. This is one of those JRPGs that everyone always wanted to play but just couldn't. And obviously, I'm going to choose Cobra Milk as my drink of choice. It sounds like Fight Milk from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and you know that being chock full of steroids is definitely going to help us out on our adventure. But as you get further into the game, So many different things are going to open up. So many different options are going to be available to you. So many different towns and areas to visit and animals to capture for the Ark. You're never going to know where to go next if it wasn't in English. But now, this game is going to signpost literally everything for you so you can enjoy the adventure, find out what animals are in an area, and then just go into the wilderness and start exploring. And once you actually do that, you're going to find an absolutely spectacular JRPG that you've just never had a chance to enjoy. But you'll see here this giant wooden Ark. Straight out of the Bible with Noah's story is just sitting here for us. And a lot of the reason why this is here is going to be made more clear as the game goes on. But the first thing you need to do after starting out is basically just register yourself as a pilot. And I will say, while this game definitely has rudimentary graphics for a PlayStation 1 release, that is because it started life on the PC engine. But this neo organic material here, which looks like a rib cage or a stomach, is just such an interesting and unique look. This game is going to pivot from things that are very familiar to you to things that make absolutely no sense. But you do need to register as the pilot of the ship, and you need both a female and a male pilot. We're obviously the male pilot, the female pilot will be up to you. But this is basically. Basically, taking a page straight out of the Bible, a book I am not at all familiar with. If you want to explain it to me a little bit down below, let me know. But we have registered as the male pilot and we can continue along our adventure. And this handprint, being both the cover art to、so、some of the game, as well as just a piece of art within the game, is both creepy and aesthetically pleasing at the same time. And I would say that's basically the gist of Linda Cubed in and of a nutshell. It is both fun and strange and disconcerting all at once. Linda's personality is going to keep you on your toes. All of the different animal designs are going to be really interesting to you. And running around the world is just going to be a fun time. And I love these animal jaws as the screen transition. Every animal is familiar yet different. These are ostriches, but we are on a different planet. And this is a time limited game. You have eight years or so many seasons to be able to do everything you need to get off. Planet and go ahead and survive somewhere else because there is always that threat of apparently the asteroid hanging over the planet. And I love these squirrels here as well, three eyed, and they're just so strange. Everything in this game is going to intrigue you when you see it. You're always going to be wondering what's going to come next, what enemy you're going to fight next, and what area you're going to see next. And now, through the help of fans, you can do that in 100% English language, which is the first time that's ever been able to be said about this game. There's so many amazing JRPGs out there and other games that we've never been able to enjoy because we don't speak the language, and it's always to be celebrated when people actually bring stuff like this to us. It brings a brand new game in a genre you probably love, and you now get to experience like it just came out on PlayStation 1 in North America in the late 90s or early 2000s. And you'll see we finally did find Linda. She's not in room 102. She's at her house. And again, I do not know what's going on with this girl. She is ultra violent and she absolutely just wants to end you. And apparently, this release has toned down violence compared to the original as far as systems are concerned, but it still seems relatively violent to me. She just winds up and absolutely sends you back from a haymaker. I don't know why. It's just part of the game. And of course, as you play further on, you will find out more. I don't really want to spoil anything for you. This hasn't been out that long. And I haven't played that much of it, so I'm still in my Linda Cube adventure as well. But I can't wait to get through all the scenarios in my spare time, limited as it may be, and really get a chance to check out a game that I've been curious about for years. But she asked me if she w a n t to get hit one more time, definitely no would be the choice I make. 
and as our main character walks into this little temple here to contemplate the choices he's made in his life and the unhealthy relationships he clearly has with Linda, you definitely should check this game out. It's weird, it's quirky, it's funny, it's intriguing, it's familiar except different at the exact same time. It's for all those reasons that you should definitely give it a shot. But leave me a comment down below, tell me if you played it yet or if you've even heard of this game, I would be curious, but I will see you guys next time because we are done. Bye-bye.